right, okay, number 22. Sorry, it says, give the major elimination product of the following compound. So it's, um, it's being treated with sodium hydroxide in heat. The compound is 1R, 2R, 1, bromo, 2, methyl, cyclo, hexane. It's a strong base plus heat, which is going to give us an E2 elimination, right? So the first thing, if you see something, a cyclohexane molecule written like this, it's always best to write it in the chair form because you need anti. Um, so here the bromine's going down, so I just put this in the, in the axial down, uh, I'm going to put it in that position just because I want to axial down because that's the way I can eliminate it. And then I put the CH3 axial up. So then I can't get the, this hydrogen is equatorial, this bromine is axial so it can't come from here. But over here on this alpha carbon there's another hydrogen, this hydrogen is axial up. This one is axial down, they're anti to each other. So the hydroxyl ion, anion from um, the sodium hydroxide comes here, takes that, this bond breaks, gives it here. The bromine breaks off and we get this down here. And that gives us what? That gives us R3 methyl cyclohexene.